Have you guys ever seen a piece of technology and you think, this makes so much sense. Why did it not exist until right now? Well, I've got such an item and I'm going to share it with you guys coming up next right here on Better Biomed. Hello everyone and welcome back to another cool technology episode where I show you guys the latest and greatest in medical technology. Today we're going to explore the world of surgical slush and why the new line of surgical slush machines are the future for this technology. Now first, a little disclaimer. The makers of surgical slush are not paying me a single penny to make this video. This is of my own opinion based on personal experiences with slush in surgical theaters. So again, they're not paying me a single penny to make this video. With that being said, let's get back to it. First off, what is surgical slush? Well, as it sounds, it's a dense ice slurry that's made from freezing saline and they keep this mixture moving throughout the whole freezing process to prevent large ice crystals from forming. Slush is used in many surgical procedures. They can make it more liquidy so that it can be injected using a syringe. They can make it more dense so that they can pack it in body cavities or wounds or even the cradle organs for organ transplants. The overall concept is that by decreasing the temperature of organs, they'll need less oxygen and thus it gives the doctors more time to complete the surgical procedure properly. The challenge for surgical slush is either keeping it sterile or changing its consistency for different doctors' uses. That is where this machine changes the game. Normal slush machines are stainless steel bowls that act as a freezer. The mixture is agitated by a plunger that reciprocates in the middle of the bowl. The entire machine is in the operating room, off in the corner somewhere, where it's covered by a drape which is a three to four mil thick plastic bag. The saline is dumped into the bag line bowl and the machine is turned on and hopefully covered until it's ready to be used. The slush will develop over the course of 30 to 45 minutes. The surge of slush machine sits in the sterile core and it acts like a freezer. Inside the cabinet is space for two to four canisters of sealed slush. The cabinet regulates temperature and the rotation speed depending on the desired consistency of the slush. Different doctors can be saved as consistency presets to make the process even easier. The workflow is much different due to the relocation of the slush machine and the operating room is less crowded. The canister assembly is actually two layers. The inner layer is sterile processed by the hospital's central sterile department. It comes in the OR like any other sterile wrapped item. This inner chamber is special material and is non-disposable. The outer layer is a pre-packaged single-use consumable which can be recycled like any other plastic. The lid on the outer chamber has a special lid lock that's single-use to prevent tampering. In the OR, Non-sterile staff will open the outer chamber and the sterile technician will unwrap the sterile freshly processed inner chamber. The non-sterile staff will open a bottle of saline, which is sterile, and they'll pour it into the inner chamber, after which the sterile tech seals the inner chamber and inserts it into the outer chamber, which is being held by non-sterile staff. Then, non-sterile staff will seal the outer chamber and mark the date and the time that it was sealed. Those canisters are taken to the machine which is in the core and it's loaded into the machine. The desired consistency is selected and there it will remain until the very moment it's needed for use. So how are these two technologies so different? Well, only surge of slush can guarantee the sterility of the slush and be used at the doctor's leisure. On a traditional slush machine, you have the item in the OR making noise, taking space, 
and using some of the electrical resources of the room, which are precious. Anybody that's worked in an operating room knows that each and every electrical receptacle is absolutely precious real estate, and to have extra ones available are better. In the event that a sterile drape tears a hole or somebody bumps into the sterile slush bowl or even drops something into the slush, that whole mixture must be discarded, you have to redrape the machine, and then you get to refill the bowl, and you have to wait for another 30 to 45 minutes for more slush. What if they're currently in a procedure and they can't wait for another 30 to 45 minutes? Well, with Surge Slush, all they'd have to do is go grab another cylinder, re-pour the slush into the bowl, and continue the procedure. All in all, you're looking at a 3 to 5 minute fix. That is a game changer. Now let me tell you guys a story of why I think that this is an absolute game changer. A lot of operating rooms out there across the country are based on aging technology and they don't have so many electrical outlets inside the rooms. This was what happened to me about two months ago. I had a room which only had six electrical circuit breakers inside the room. And what the staff ended up doing is because there are so few electrical outlets in the room, they ended up plugging a rolly tower of Bovis, ESUs, a patient heater and the surgical slush maker into the same circuit, which, as you can guess, it popped the circuit. What happened is they called me and a facilities guy, an electrician, over to the room to deal with the problem. The room was full of people, and I would say there was between 10 and 12 people in the room. There's multiple teams of people that were harvesting organs. I had to carefully go around all the people, all their equipment, and the sterile field to check the circuit breakers and to check the electrical outlets and my equipment to make sure that everything's functioning correctly. I identified the issue that they had too much stuff plugged into one circuit, and we corrected that. The electrician who accompanied me, he also wanted to take a look at the receptacles and make sure that everything was good to go. As he came in, he's not so used to being in operating rooms, so he was a bull in a china shop. Let's put it that way. So this guy, he comes in, and we warn him multiple times, watch it, there's a sterile slush machine there. Watch the blue drapes, don't touch them, be careful. And he almost touched the blue drapes multiple times. And it was at that very moment that I was thinking, oh my gosh, what if he touched the sterile slush machine now, those organ transplant teams are going to be on a delay, a crucial delay, because if you guys know anything about transplanting organs, time is of the essence. It's absolutely paramount that they get that organ and they get it transplanted as soon as possible. So we didn't have the time to make more slush. I was thinking there's got to be a better way of doing business, and that's when I learned about this product, which is why I'm bringing it to you guys. I honestly believe the Surge of Slush machine could be a game changer for how we do business. I wouldn't have had to go to that room if we had a Surge of Slush in the vicinity. First off, the Surge of Slush wouldn't have been in the room, so we wouldn't have popped the circuit breaker because we wouldn't have had that extra freezer attached to one of our circuits, which was very critical. Furthermore, we wouldn't have broke sterile because it was already a crowded environment, and if we did break sterile, it wouldn't have been such a crucial issue because we would have just went and got another tube of slush and dumped it out. We would have been good to go. So I read about this product and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be the future of surgical slush. Just as soon as people get used to the technology and the change of workflow, this is going to be the standard of care. Now let's talk a little bit about costs. These machines can actually save quite a bit of cost as well. A traditional slush machine costs between sixty and eighty thousand dollars. I know, I can't believe it, but there it is, sixty to eighty k per machine, and each machine has to be in an operating room. So that means if you have four rooms, you've got over three hundred thousand dollars. One surge of slush machine can handle up to four liters of slush at a time. So technically. Depending on their usage, you could service four rooms with one machine. And that's a significant cost savings if you think about it. Not only that, but 
as I've been learning, the drapes that these hospitals have been using, that plastic bag that I referenced earlier, that part is actually very expensive. They're paying about $50 to $60 for those drapes, and it doesn't really make any sense. It's a, it's a plastic bag. I get that it's sterile, but it's still just a plastic bag. The outer chamber that I talked about earlier for the Surge Slush, it's only about $50 to $60. So it's very comparable cost-wise. So let's go over the pluses on this system. Not only is it a centrally located unit, so it's not going to be sitting in your operating room creating extra noise, creating extra contamination hazards. You can record the date and time on the slush cylinders so you know exactly when it was placed in there. You can actually preload these cylinders in the morning based on your caseload for the day and just use them as you need them. That's a pretty big plus. These machines won't be in your operating room, so they're not going to be taking up your electrical resources. There's going to be less cords to trip over. It's going to be a cost savings because you're going to use less equipment. Since there's less equipment needed because one machine can service multiple rooms, you're saving money on equipment, equipment contracts, repairs, etc. So this system really does change the game, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's all I really have for you at the moment. If you have any questions, please leave them in the remarks down below. I have representatives from this company that are standing by. I had a Zoom meeting with the representatives from this company because I had questions about this product and I needed a lot of answers. And if they're willing to set up a Zoom meeting with me, imagine what they'd be willing to do for you guys. I honestly think that this is going to make a lot of people's lives better in the future. Thanks again for watching.